Hi there, this is Michal Grebač from Turing. The topic for this video is to show you how we deliver CRM and service desk integrations in Cisco contact centers. So let's get started. Before I walk you through all the standard CRM integration scenarios, let me walk you through my lab setup. So what we have here is Cisco Finance 12.5, already enhanced with Turing gadgets for Cisco Finance um, 5.1. Cisco Finance is uh, running on the UCCX or Cisco Contact Center Express platform. And as you can see here, we have multiple CRM systems available. I have Salesforce, I have ServiceNow, I got Microsoft Dynamics, and all of this is running inside of Google Chrome. Um, the Google Chrome is also enhanced with Turing browser extension that shows agent his state and also allows him to change his state. Meaning if I go away from Cisco Finance, I can see my state right here and I can also change my state um, directly through the extension. So in this case, I can decide I would like to go not ready log out. When I do that, you see that it triggers um, a toast alert at the bottom of a screen. These those alerts are very, very powerful. We use them for a lot of alert, alerting and notifications, not only of agents, but also of supervisors and not only about agent states, but also about um, any 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 additional contact center events, such as let's say the number of calls in queue or the longest wait time, or if there is a new call or if um, supervisor broadcasts a message to group of agents, et cetera, right? So this can be really used for providing alerts and notifications to any group or subgroup of agents. Um, and the beauty of it is that it pops on top of all the application windows. It doesn't matter what application the agent is, if he is in the, in the browser or in a spreadsheet or whenever, um, this is going to pop on top of all the other application windows. The look is configurable, right? So this is our lab. We are using our company logo, but it can, it can be changed depending on what kind of message it is, right? So the nice example is if the call center is multilingual, um, they can show different flag depending on what language to the agent should speak on the given call, right? English, French, German, etc. When I click on this alert, certain set of actions will happen. As you can see here, this one was configured to take me back to Cisco Finance. And at the same time, it changed my state into, into ready. But enough about these powerful dose alerts. I'm sure that I'm going to talk about them a little bit more when I get into um, the actual CRM, CRM integrations. Besides that, I also have this uh, Turing agent power tool that is a little floating window showing agents um, something that you know would normally be let's say sitting on the big plasma screen in the call center but this way they can actually bring it on their on their um, workstation where they can see the metrics that matter to them right this this is a layout from our dashboards and wall boards so from our real-time reporting tool kpis can change colors they can blink blink they can trigger out the alerts all of the all of the standard things um, layouts in dashboard, dashboards and wallboards can do uh, can be delivered by this um, little little floating window as well. Okay, so let's talk about outbound. Let's start with a very simplistic use case, right? You are in a given CRM system and you want to place an outbound call. Um, so in this case, I can pick. Um, you know the the contact little Turing soft pop pop ups, and I can I can dial um, the same option. You know you can just open the soft phone. You can put the number in manually if that's what you desire. Um, you also have the option to do the same from from Salesforce, right? I'm just going to find my my details here, and I'm going to open it up, and then I can you know just click on the number, and it's going to place uh, place the call. Like you see it here, right? It's um, dialing dialing the phone number. Um, you can you can also um, let me just do that. Um, you can also place calls directly from um, the dialog gadget, so directly from Cisco Finance. Here in uh, in the dialog gadget, 
agents can search. They can search across multiple data sources at once, just like you see it here. Um, once they find a contact, uh, they can decide what they would like to do with it, right? It can have, just like you see it here, just, you know, it can be really, really a link that they click on and it places a call, or um, it can have a little, little window that uh, has some actions available, just like you see it there. And then um, there's, you know, other places where agents can go to to place calls. So like, for example, here in the in the um, team gadget, again, they can search and when they find um, a contact, they can they can call uh, from from there. So like right here, I can I can call the given um, medicine medicine um, department from, from Stockton, for example. So these are just examples of you know how this can work. In other words, it doesn't matter uh, what you prefer, right? You can place calls directly from from Cisco Finesse, uh, from Salesforce, from ServiceNow, from Microsoft Dynamics. All of those all of those um, options are are available, and it's really just up to the user what what they what they prefer to do. One thing should be pointed out when you place a call. Not only the the call is placed, right, but at the same time, um, certain set of uh, automation can be can be triggered, right? So uh, we can create a new case, we can create a new call, uh, we can push all the information about the about about that um, call into 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 those uh, places as well, right? So it is fully configurable. Um, you, Every customer can tell us what pieces of information they would like us to push to what um, what fields in their given CRM system, including links for uh, for you know to call recordings. The automation trigger by an inbound call can be very flexible. Call comes in, our workflow searches for the caller in a single or in multiple CRM systems. Usually we search using caller's phone number, but any information that's available about the caller about the caller can be used. Depending on what, what is found, the actual CRM automation can differ. So this means that agent can be taken to one screen if it's a single match scenario or to a completely different place if there is no match or if we found multiple matches for the same phone number. Some customers prefer that the agent experience is always the same. So that means um, agent lands in the same spot no matter what information is found, and then he can decide or she can decide what uh, what should happen next. So let me let me place a call uh, while I'm sitting instead of Salesforce, right? So some customers they just want to sit in the given CRM system; they don't want to leave it, right? Um, so let me place a call while I'm in Salesforce, and what's going to happen is at the bottom of a screen. We'll get the toast alert telling us, hey, there is a new call. We think it's Michael. And as a result, we automatically open the Michael's Michael's contact detail. We just to demonstrate the automation, create a new case, we create a new call. But it's really up to you what happens, when exactly that happens, and um, wh where we put what information, right? So it's all fully configurable. As long as there are fields in Salesforce or in Microsoft CRM or in ServiceNow, we can obviously um, update those fields and store information there. So this is, you know, what it looks like inside of um, the given CRM system, right? I never left. I never had to go to Finesse. The entire um, interaction can be handled while I'm sitting here in uh, in, uh, in 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 the CRM system. And now we can do the same. But in, now I'm going to do it uh, while I'm sitting in uh, in Finesse interface, right? So again, um, I'm going to place the call. And what's going to happen, right? We're going to get the same toast alert at the bottom of a screen telling me there is a new call, just like you see it here. I can click on it to answer the call. And then um, you see that the automation took me to um, the second tab in our in our dialog gadget where I see that it's Michael, he's from California. Here is some additional information about him. And then I can decide what I need to do next, right? So let's say in this case, we need to uh, provide an update about case 2016. So I click on that 
and that opens in a different tab within the dialog gadget where I get to see the detail, right? So I can update it, let's say I can escalate it, um, I can update the subject of it, right? Let's say update, etc. So you can you can do what you need to do with this, um, and then obviously save it and be done, right? But the same interface right here, again, everything in the same spot provides you details um, about the call, right? You can see the call variables, you can update these call variables, you can have like open text field, you can have some kind of predefined fields where you can tag the call, um, you can have um, nodes that travel with the call, right? So there is a lot of options, speed dials with presence information, um, etc., customer interaction history, all of that in a single single gadget, single place. Agent doesn't have to leave uh, this this uh, environment at all. To conclude, Turing is able to integrate Cisco contact centers with pretty much any application. Even though our lab only counts with Salesforce, ServiceNow, and Microsoft Dynamics, Turing gadgets can be used to integrate Finance with pretty much any application that offers sufficient API or if there is access to its SQL database. To keep this video short, we only covered automation with phone calls, but on the Express platform, the same automation is available for chat and email, as long as those channels are handled via Cisco Social Miner. To learn more, visit turing.com gadgets. And right there in the top right corner, you can request a live demonstration. We are looking forward to hearing from you.